I'm Esther Lamnek, and I am the director of our Woodwind Program in the Department of Music and Performing Arts. Um, we offer a Bachelor of Music degree, a Master's of Music degree, and a PhD, all in performance, along with an Artist Certificate Program, which is a post-Master's uh, degree, and it allows our students to earn a comparable degree, something like an artist certificate would be offered in other universities. We have a number of artists who don't want to pursue the PhD and this is a wonderful opportunity for them. I think the most exciting part of it is the fantastic faculty that we have because we can draw on all of the great artists that are in New York City, um, wonderful players from the, the various orchestras, the New York Philharmonic, the Metropolitan Opera Orchestra, um, all of the great soloists, the specialists. We're here in downtown New York. We have the great jazz clubs, the great new music performance clubs, all the spaces, the lofts, the electronic music scene. So we have the greatest players from all of these genres available to our students, and I think our kids have taken full advantage of it in the Woodwind program. Most excited about, I think, are the great performing opportunities that we have for the students here. Um, we have many, many ensembles from the traditional program. We have uh, orchestras, symphonic orchestras. We have opera orchestras, music or theater opera orchestras. We have orchestras that support jazz programs and all kinds of initiatives, so tons of orchestral experience. One of the great things about the Woodwind program is the Woodwind Quintet program, and we have five or six Woodwind Quintets every semester, and the students perform in them and also go out and perform in the city in various uh, spaces. We've had great success with our loft and gallery series for Woodwind Quintet placement. Um, we have a very special area of chamber music performance that I've sort of been um, promoting for many years and commissioning works for, and that's the trios for flute, clarinet, and piano. So our young artists are premiering lots of new works in this area. Um, I'm always commissioning them, and we have a chamber music series of about 12 performances per season. So in all the chamber music genres, we have many, many op performance opportunities. Um, beyond that, my particular area of specialization is avant-garde music and, and electronic music performance, so acousmatic music or solo instrument with fixed media or interactive computer programs. And I run the New Music Ensemble, and it's an ensemble which we work with electronic music scores, and we've had composers write scores for us from all over the world. Um, we tour quite a bit with this ensemble. So I think the performing opportunities for woodwind players coming here are unique and run the gamut from um, traditional studies to the most avant-garde. And I think you can see an example of that. One of our great graduates is Alejandro Esquer, who um, was from Mexico City. He finished a PhD with us. He worked with Robert Dick and with me. And he is the director of the Onyx Ensemble, which tours, tours worldwide. Um, very contemporary avant-garde ensemble. I've commissioned hundreds of works. Um, and he's a great example. We just have another wonderful example of a, another flute performance major um, who's gotten a full-time position at Montclair State University. I have people all over the, this country in orchestras and also in full-time positions teaching. Um, and performing. Many of our recent graduates do sort of double duty in there. They have woodwind quintets or other chamber ensembles out working, but they're also supporting themselves doing some kind of artist administrative work. I think it's very important to add as well that in our undergraduate curriculum, we have wonderful offerings that support a performance degree. You can study in the area of music technology, music business, many um, education courses, uh, and also as seniors, arts administrative courses. So these classes really add substantially to a curriculum that's already full from a traditional point of view and an avant-garde point of view and provides the student with a tools that are necessary to then go out and be able to actually earn an, a living in our field. The fact for my program and my particular interest um, in, in experimental new music performance is that I'm right here in the village and we have clubs like Roulette and 
downtown music gallery that's now under another name, but all of the galleries, all of the lofts, all of the studios are right here, and our students are out performing in them almost every night. Um, ag again, being here for the gallery situation, to have chamber music and art galleries is a very big trend these days, and we're right at the forefront of that with our students performing practically on a weekly basis during the spring semesters, doing recitals. Um, I think also it's important that the students get to perform in New York City because the audiences are knowledgeable and you never know for whom you're going to be playing. So someone could be there who would love you and hear you and say, oh, I want that person in my orchestra for this. I would love to hear her do a chamber music concert for that. So I think it's, the, it's a wonderful opportunity for contacts and to really delve into the area of study that you want to be in, whether traditional or, or contemporary or experimental or improvisational, whatever, we have it all.